这这，哎哎。I forgot that Flashpoint has an animations section. And when I looked at it, there is one playlist that I had created called E E E E. And all that it had in it was one other animation which I think I'll use to start off the next stream. And this one called Pope Pumps His Bike. <laughs> And I opened it up and I was like, dare I ask what Pope Pumps His Bike is? It is this. We are watching Pope Pumps His Bike. So there you go. It's beautiful. Um, one, one moment, please. Looking through the animation section in general is pretty insane. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not actually throwing up. I just had to like, I had a weird throat. Okay. Um, let me close Pope Pumps' his bike, and close- this music wasn't actually part of Pope Pumps' his bike. Um, some things that leapt out to me here, uh, just from a little glance of the, uh, animations list, I see a bunch of ones that we saw on the best 404 page ever dot com, which old salty bet viewers will remember. I won't open any of them because I don't I don't know hey you know what here uh, anybody remember this one and then there was I guess flashing lights warning I opened this one up before the stream and it's very flashy Anybody remember this one this one this one was called like talk box Uboa or something or Uboa because that's from Yume Nikki I think uh there's this one this one's called acid manga just random garbage like this was all over that website and then uh, Potter Puppet Pals is on here. I don't know how many of you remember Potter, Potter Puppet Pals. Uh, some of the ass diff movies are on here. Salad Fingers, etc. There's just a lot here. I, I don't know if it's worth like, you know, being like, oh, I'm going to sit here and just like scroll through this and stream <laughs> reactions to old Flash animations. But there is certainly a rabbit hole that you could go down here. I, I gotta just sh look at this as diff movie. Remember this shit? Got your nose. Feel old yet? Look out, he's got a nose. There's what, like 15 of these now? Or something like that? Made by, uh, you I wanna say Tomska? <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, they got the motherfucking cutscenes from Champions of Meridel on Neopets in here. All three of them. Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3. They have no sound. Uh, As if movie, I'm pretty sure was, yeah, animated in Flash. I mean, we got our proof right here. I'm running a Flash file. Ed's World, we got some Ed's World animations here. I don't know, it's just cool. Mr. Happy Face, which I believe was made by... The, like, llamas with hats guy. I forget his name. Fuck. You guys will be able to fill me in on this. What is the guy's name? Anyway, it would take ages to go through all this, and I kind of prefer playing games to just reacting. Film Cow. That's the one. So, yeah, I don't know. There's, some, there's a series called Phoenix Wrong, which I'm kind of tempted to click on, but it's also looking through these old Flash animations is like a fucking minefield if you don't know what you're getting into. Like, okay, did you, by the way, apparently, oh, actually, wasn't it an anniversary of this one recently? And, and the creator of it, it was like, oh, it's been like 10 years since, it's probably been more since Badger, Badger, Mushroom. And he made like an, the original creator made like an HD remake or something. Oh my God, Zombocom is on here. I've already done Zombocom though. I'm pretty sure that was an intro to a previous stream. 
It is kind of fun looking through these. Trollface was today, 2008, really? It was 20 years since fucking Badger Mushroom. Oh, lordy. Oh. And there's a, a fuck ton of Stickman fights on here, too. But like I said, I'm not gonna risk just randomly clicking on shit, because I don't know... I guess there are settings on Flashpoint to, like, filter out things with expletives, but I can't imagine it's 100% like right like if it's if it's a hundred percent dependable anyway i should stop looking through this even though it's really hard to stop looking oh my god no there's one more that i gotta play all right you ready any guesses everybody okay if anybody can recognize what this is from the not often seen when these animations are put on youtube not often seen play button if you can remember what this is, I'll I, genuinely I'll give you like I'll like buy you like a sixty dollar video game. Anyway, I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna sit here and scroll for one minute and see if anybody can get it. Uh, and let's just see what else we got here. Oh, I'm sure plenty of you know it. Brawl taunts, Arthur versus drawing, racist Mario, Mrs. Beats. Nope, cutting it off, cutting it off. Even if you say it now, you don't get the game. No, it's not fancy pants. No, it is. Hey, Andy, sweetie. Huh? What's that you're drawing? <laughs> I'm gonna, like, blow out everybody's eardrums. A map? But that looks like a close-up of my eyes? <laughs> That's exactly right, Pete. That's exactly right, your eyes, cause I, I can find myself getting lost in them. Oh. <laughs> Very good. I never noticed. Is there? There's like some orchestral stuff going on. In the background there. Okay, this was on best 404 page ever, too. Remember this shit? Oh, that's... What a blast from the past, man. And then there's the fucking... I see another one I recognize. This Kerbal Space Program guy. Yeah! Oh my god, what an era. Flash was so crazy. It was such a... That was such a great way to just... Hand creativity to the people, even though, you know, a lot of stuff that got produced was crap, but that's fine. We actually got some great stuff out of it. Okay, I have to tear myself away. Oh, oh, wait, what the fuck is this? No, I need to play games today. Oh, this one isn't even in Flash. No, fuck that. It was the leak spin, though. What the fuck is this bullshit? Okay, what's the snake, though? Snape? Oh, it's gonna be Snape. Obviously, it's gonna be Snape. I... Anyone could tell you it's gonna go Snape! It's gonna go Snape. It's gonna go Snape. Yeah. Yeah. The... Oh, the Whomping Willow has fists for branches. My god. <laughs> Metal Gear Awesome is on here! Oh... Oh. oh god, there's a whole Pope series. Okay, nope. Nope, I'm stopping. I'm stopping right now. I'm stopping right now. Yeah, that's an endless rabbit hole. Okay. Games. We are going to play games. I'm going to play Flash Games. I have four games lined up for you today. They all have pixel art, so I'm changing to point scale filtering. And we are going to start off with a, ostensibly a classic. I've not played it, but I've been told that this is a classic. Uh, it is called Robot Wants Kitty. Just move it a little bit here. Is that... And I'm going to be playing this with keyboard, I guess. Uh, this is part of a, like, series of Robot Wants games, I guess. Uh, I don't know anything about it. Except people said this one's a Metroidvania and it's fun. 
I like that the tutorial says, huh? It doesn't even say tutorial. Okay, find the kitty. Arrow keys steer your robot. Collect power-ups to avoid being totally obsolete. Dying adds 20 seconds to your time. Blast aliens to subtract one second. Okay, Z to jump. X to shoot lasers. Lasers. Okay, hold X and I'm swing. I'm assuming these are upgrades I will get as we go on. Maybe I won't even start off with the ability to jump or shoot lasers. Down and Z to rocket upward. Double tap forward to zip. Down and X. Okay, Z, X. Okay. Red key, not a boxing glove. Blue key, mystery effect. Green key opens green gates. Let's play it. I have not played a second of this. Arrow keys to move. I think I cannot actually, uh do anything yet, so I gotta wait for this guy to move. Assuming we're going to the right here. Uh, as far as I can tell, I can't even jump. Okay, there's the jump ability. Oh, shit. Okay, jump. Beautiful. Is, uh, is it loud? Is it good? Oh, no. Oops. That's 20 seconds. Right there, mate. Robot pattern encoded. I'm assuming that's like a save zone. Okay, I see. Wow. Two upgrades right there. Deadly lasers. That's the double jump, it seems like. Okay. Now I can kill? No. Uh... Okay. I was gonna say, they're not- not very deadly. I- I intend to beat this game. We're at the point where the games remaining in my Flash game list are, uh... All kind of longer ones, or at least ones that I thought were longer. Uh, another one of the ones I want to play today is Tower of Heaven, which I was informed last stream is actually not very long at all. It's like 15 minutes. For some reason, I just assumed... These were all games that I assumed would take a long time. All these games I saved for last for, like, kind of dumb reasons, I think. I can't actually get up to that. Uh... Oh, there's a lot of fuck faces up there. I mean, so far it seems like an incredibly basic Metroidvania. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Okay, double jump. Is this guy killable? Oh god. I really suck at this. Not that he needed to die. I wanted him dead. I wanted to kill him. Of my own free will. Whatever that means. Is this breakable? No. There's the kitty. I didn't even process that the kitty is, like, right there at the very beginning. I assume I need the, uh... LAUNCH! For that, for those, uh, those red brick blocks that remind me of the Super Mario, uh, Super Mario Advance, right? The Super Mario Bros. 2 GBA remake. It's like an enhanced Lost Levels port. Or not lost levels, all stars. I guess killing enemies, what restores a second? It's like not even worth doing. I guess those guys might be worth killing. Uh, was there a hard time limit actually, or am I, uh. Is it just score? Ah, I'm having fun so far. Nice. I mean, we're kind of just... stalling here. Oh, green gates, cool. Get off gates. Get off me gates!
Yeah, I think the based option is kill for the sake of killing. For the joy. The, 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 the bloodlust that it brings. You know, for sport! Isabel always likes to say, ah, you know, for sport. Couldn't help but notice that an enemy respawned earlier, and I don't- it doesn't seem like that is a universal rule, maybe it's like, only when I die? Okay, green gate. Okay... I can't even see where I am. I'm glad there was nothing... Okay, press C! Oh! That is ludicrous speed. Okay. Um... Don't suppose that makes me, like, invincible, does it? Where's my map? Uh... Well, this adds a whole new element. Penis! Okay, whatever, I encoded my robot pattern. <laughs> Somehow I was able to jump a bunch of times there, I don't really know. What the fuck? Okay. Why doesn't the robot get the kitty? Is he stupid? That does not kill enemies. I have added significant time to my timer. Okay. But I wonder if there's any way to open that red gate, because it said like, oh, secret effect for the red gates, or for the red key. Or, actually, no, it just said box, like, not a boxing glove. So, never mind. The blue key was the one that was, uh... Trixie. Secret thing. I just love killing! Okay, oh, not a boxing glove. This is not a boxing glove. Very funny. Bruh. Uh, okay. I can get through the red gates now. It's fine. Oh, that takes more than three shots, eh? Hey, Let's check what's up here first. Maybe I can get the drop on him. Oh, wait. Oh! Is there a way to, like, cancel the, the rocket blast? Doesn't really seem like it. It just sort of auto-cancels after a certain amount of time. Okay... I mean, my time is bad. Let's not sugarcoat it. Folks- Oh! You... play it safe here. I'm just looking to win. I'm not looking to get a super high score. What do we got here? Oh yeah, that, that really was just, you could either go the long, no, this is a different thing. Well, let's just see what's over here. This feels like this could maybe be a power up. Looks like there are indeed blue gates. Maybe the blue key message was just there to gaslight me. I hit the wrong... Fuck! I hit the wrong button. And that's fine. This is just like Space Invaders. I used to play that on my old gramophone. Oh, big boss. It's gonna split into little parts. Is it even going to take damage? 
Hold X to annihilate. Get ready to get fucking annihilated. I got annihilated. Wait, so when it said annihilate, it meant me. Oh my god. He's going mental. This is like second phase, I guess. Nice. Okay. Oh, lordy. That was... Again, I just feel a desire to kill. I, like, did enough damage to it. To, uh, hit phase two. Okay, I'm a little lost. I gotta go up here. Good boosts, good boosts going on so far here, mate. Because I went up here and I died to the, like, fucking bullshit. Okay. Yeah, the rapid- oh, really? Do you, like, move slower when you're doing the rapid fire or something? I don't think so. Actually, uh, no, I don't think you do. I don't think it might lag the game a tiny bit. Okay, oh, blue boxing glove. What could this possibly do? Yeah, they were just being cheeky with that one description. You can't be lame and just call it a blue key. Hmm. Wasn't there something... Wasn't there a blue gate down here? Yes, there was. Annihilate. That's hot. I just killed the beetles in one shot, in one frame. Hold down and press C to rocket skyward. Okay. That guy kind of looks like a little Among Us. Okay. Now, I assume I can go get... I think, I think this is the last thing we need to kill. Or to, to get the kitty. Kill the kitty? No, we're not looking to kill a kitty. Oh, I should have, like, death warped there. Was it not around here? Fuck, no, it's here. It's here. Oh, fuck. Really? Wait, what? Uh... Buh. Let's go ahead and... Uh. Why is, uh... Why am I not winning? This is not the way to winning. Kill. Well, how, uh, do I not have all the upgrades? Am I mental, or do I not, or do I have all the upgrades? Maybe over here where there's enemies. Oh, here you go. This will give me more destructive power. Very cool. Ah. Okay, I guess that's where I need to come out of. Here we go, here we go. I'm gonna need to get out the Annihilator for this one. Just notice, does he do a little, like, he does a little Mega Man pose when he jumps? Actually, not really. It's just he's got one kind of wonky leg. Oh. Oh, all the way back. Oh, God. It's, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and Johns and say that I, uh... I find myself struggling because... Keyboard. I'm so not used to doing keyboard. And, it, like, it used to be... Mostly because of Flash games. It used to be, like, in my blood, too. Like, I used to- it used to be the thing that felt the most natural to me. But now, uh, I'm fully controller-pilled. Oh. 
that's very cruel. That's very cruel that they put that there. Don't you think that's a little wee bit cruel? Wee bit. Ow. God damn it. I wanted to do the fucking boost. Oh. Total, that is what we call a guess. So how do I do this part? How do you do that part? Do you just sit there and wait for one hour? <laughs> okay, we should probably not do that. I got lucky one time. It's just that I don't have control over stopping myself when I do the boost forward, and I need to do the boost forward there. Maybe I don't need to do the boost forward, actually. Oh, God, okay. We're gonna sit here, because I can't fucking... I know it's like, oh, while you're falling, get one, but it... actually, no. With the way there's space, it's actually fucking impossible. I really don't, like, maybe you can weave between them just barely. You don't get a lot of aerial mobility in this game. I am gonna assume that they're, they're all dead. Okay. Fire missiles that smash red bricks, okay. Okay. Now. See there, I should have death warped again. I think, what was it, down here? Here we are. Okay, kitty. I'll save you. I'll get you. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Wow. Simple and beautiful. Simple and beautiful. Well, that was fun. How long did that? That didn't even take half an hour. For some reason, how long to beat said, like, completionist, like, one hour. I can't imagine. Weird. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'll ever play any more of those, but that was fun. That was a nice... I, I think that is the shortest Metroidvania I've ever seen, and, uh... You know what? It was good. It was very functional. Uh, anyway... Let's move on to... Tower of Heaven, the other one that I said that I was gonna play. These are all games that have been on this list for fucking ages, so it feels crazy to be actually, like, playing them. Okay. Uh, new game, I guess? There's a speedrun option. I don't think I've ever even opened this game. This was on the, uh, Flashpoint recommended list. One second. Okay. I'm assuming Z or X? Z. Okay. What's this? Yet another soul seeks to scale my tower? Welcome, young one. Perhaps you do not realize the danger in what you're attempting. If you truly wish to ascend this tower and claim its reward, then make your way to those stairs. Yeah, I guess this one probably also has a Twitch category. I don't know. I wanted to do... Like, games and demos, and then I was like, eh, Robot Wants Kitty actually probably has a category. Be warned, I have no patience for slow workers. If you cannot reach the stairs in to the next floor before time runs out, I shall smite you. May heaven grant you fortune. If you'd like to recommend, uh, Flash games, you can, but just, uh, know that there there's a pretty low likelihood that I will play them at this point. Uh... Butterfly? Very cool. Uh... I- I just... I've played a lot. Oh, let's turn this down a little bit. But you can leave them in the comments of the VODs, I think, would be the best place to leave them. Now, scaling this tower wouldn't be all that dangerous if it simply involved climbing stairs, would it? May heaven grant you fortune. Okay, um... Trust? Okay. I don't really know... 
what this game does besides... Is it just a platformer? Is it just a hard platformer? That was close. You'll have to... You'll still have to prove that you're worthy of progressing further. And you'd better get used to proving yourself, believe me. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, I was kind of worried I'd have to, like, start from the beginning again. This is gonna be a bit of a tight jump. Okay. What, you're still here? Is that an ice cream sandwich? Delicious. Let's make things a bit more amusing. Pick up that tablet. This is the Book of Laws. Within the walls of this tower, you must obey what it commands or I will smite you. Is the volume at a good level or is it still kind of loud? I will add new laws to this book when I see fit so that you may be fairly tested of your ability. When I add new laws, all the old laws will still be in effect. Okay, so this is, the, this is your gimmick. You may review the laws at any time by pressing shift. This is like a taskmaster task. Sorry, a taskmaster task. Do not touch golden blocks. Can I, like, make that jump? Fuck. It, a little loud. Uh, some people saying it's good, some people saying it's a little loud. I'm gonna err on the side of caution and turn it down just the slightest bit. Okay, can't touch golden blocks. And the rules stack, too. What is this gonna do? Oh, God. Those were golden blocks. You got me. And that spike, I think, is just activated on proximity, which is a total dick move. Since this is so easy for you, let's add another rule. Thou shalt not touch blocks or walls from the side. Oh, God. Terrible layout. Oh. Okay, that's a proximity spike. Oh! The magic pixel. Grrr. So, the pawn... Yeah, I think literally... Like, I could brush up against them, I just can't move into them. The pawn chooses to play this game of death with its maker. Have fun with this new rule, then. Thou shalt not walk left. My head got cut off. Oh, God. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna check. <laughs> what the fuck? How do I do this? Okay, so I'm gonna pause the game. How do I do this? Is it just a wicked precise jump? I guess it says, like, oh, did it just give me a, uh... It gave me, like, a hint with the asterisks here. I'm assuming that those were not, uh... I'm assuming that those were not there the first couple of times I died. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa! The fuck? Untold riches. You've discovered the first secret of the tower. Oh. Very cool. Whoa. Yeah, that's very neat looking. Cool. That background really reminds me of the sun, and, the sun and Moon, which is a really cool indie game that was way, 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 way too hard for me. You are smarter than I thought, but you don't know what you're getting yourself into. I will try to make your death quick and painless. Okay. Oh, shit. Ow. I hit a thing from the side. Ow, I jumped, cock! What prevented me from jumping there? I jumped, like, way before I touched that. I think the fucking game just ate my delicious input. Okay, and I can't move... I can't walk left. Ow. Yeah, I didn't really have a lot of time to react to that. Music's quite good. <laughs> Ow, I jumped, cock. What the fuck? It's eating my jumps. 
Or maybe there's just like a tiny little bit of like input lag when you press jump and that's what's like fucking me up. Ow. People are saying this is a stage in Rivals of Aether. Like, in... Oh. In, like, official Rivals of Aether, or it's, like, a fan-made thing? You will fail sooner or later. I've failed many times. You're no different from the rest, despite what you may think. Flash games always did this shit. Made it seem like the things that you were doing were, like, completely fucking impossible. Anybody else, like, get what I'm talking about here? Where, like, they'd be like, Oh my god, I can't believe you made it to stage three. You're, like, the coolest guy ever. But nobody's ever made it past this stage. The reward is not meant for mortal hands. To claim it, you must first shed your humanity. I thus give you a new rule. You, thou shalt not touch a living thing. The butterflies are now going to be obstacles. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> very funny, very funny. Very, very funny. Is this Japes? No. There is no chance for you, no reward. This tower extends to a place beyond your reach. Defying me will only bring closer to your own demise. Will, will only bring closer to your own demise, fuck. Henceforth, thou shalt no longer check the rules. Fuck you. At the point where I might actually want to start checking them. Ow. Ow. God, that is a dickish spawn. Holy shit. Oh. Damn. Ow. Hold on. Can I, uh... I'm moving. Like, what the fuck? The fucking jump button is bru is brusted. I'm fucking jumping, mate. Don't know what to tell you, game. Hitting the Z key. Tried to stop before I fucking hit the ground. Not hard enough. There was like a frame of left. Left. If you will. Ow. Ow. Yeah, so for the left rule, I, I have to be airborne. Damn it. Ow. That- that's just a cunt move. Like, that- that's like classic, like, Flash game fuck you. That- I- that's like... That's what we call a cheap shot in the industry. Like, giving after respawn, like, <laughs> one- like, literally less than a second to respawn. And react to that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's gonna get me, like, every single fucking time. N no surprises there. Good thing my fat head does not count as touching the block. Okay. How dare you? Is it merely to spite me, you damn fool? Those covenants enough to seek my reward deserve only fiery torment. You shall share that- you will share that fate soon enough. Yeah, what's going on with this room, mate? I just don't even get to know the rule.
Can I like crouch? No. Maybe uh this windowsill is something. Hmm. Oh, okay. The Book of Law's Shadows. All rules nullified. Oh. For for sure? For real? Huh. That's pretty wild. The music's like shockingly good. I wonder if these skull blocks even do they even hurt me? Fuck. Surely they do. It feels very uh V informed. I don't know if there's any relation there. Okay, yeah, they're they're the new gold blocks. What year is this? Uh, 2009. Shit. Just wait patiently there. So surely they're gonna- it's gonna be like, oh, all the rules are nullified, and then all the rules come back. Right? Would not have expected this game to appear in Rivals of Ether of all things, but I guess it's like same same devs or the devs know the devs or something. Fuck. Same yeah, same composer as Rivals, okay. Quite cool. I never played Rivals of Ether. I, I played it a tiny bit. A, a friend of mine had it and played it a lot. It was like two brothers who played it a ton together, and whenever I played with them, I just felt completely outclassed, and it didn't motivate me to play the game. Uh, especially setting up GameCube controllers on PC is just always such a nightmare, and I don't want to play it without GameCube. That's not, that's not a thing. Playing Smack, like, I'm so sorry, like, it's, I know it's a complete personal thing, I know I could probably get used to it, but playing a Smash-type game with anything but a GameCube controller just feels completely wrong. Like, I can barely function. It's wild how much the GameCube controller sort of conditioned me in that way. Like, it feels like trying to walk on my hands, god damn it. And certainly, yeah, Rivals of Aether seems really cool. I mean, it's like... It's one of those games where it's like, oh, you know... Surely Nintendo's, uh... Nostalgia power and... Uh, you know, brand power... Is what's keeping them... Above all the platform fighter competition, but... Rivals of Aether seems like... It's like Rivals of Aether and, like, PM... Kind of seem like objectively the best ones. They've got really neat mechanics, and, uh... I mean, Rivals of Ether's got the whole character created, or custom character thing, which is just... nuts. God damn it. Ugh. It turned around. Okay. This screen's gonna take a while. I'm assuming... Maybe, uh... Maybe it's like, I'll do this one, and then there'll be another one where they bring all the rules back. I can't imagine the last challenge of this game would be just here, do this unrelated platforming challenge with no rules. No, Multiverses was kind of lame. Uh, I played a bit of Multiverses with Isabel. It was kind of lame, it just didn't feel good. And that's, that's the death of a game like that, is just not feeling good. Simply to control. Is this gonna fucking yeet me into those blocks? Yes, it would have. Okay, what now? Uh. Whoa. Am I winning?
Very cool. This really is it gonna be a boss, maybe? <laughs> you emerge bearing riches. So empty, empty and useless this was. Is there nothing left in these walls? Were the fruits of this place truly so rich? Is it the butterfly speaking to me? Then I am content, and the tower worthless. One more prize do I bear upon ye. Thou shalt go this far, but no further. May heaven grant you fortune. Oh my god, the tower is much taller than I thought it was. Wow. I did it. So I assume, do I get good end if I get all the secrets? Whoa. The game had real graphics the whole time. I saw the traveler make his way toward the monolith. That thin gash amidst the clouds. I can't read in this voice that quickly. So I'm just gonna give up. <laughs> A Tower of Heaven, Journal of an Unknown Traveler. <clears throat> Wow, I did it. So do I- is there like a- is there like good end? If you get the secrets, I only got one of them. Out of, I think, three it said? Thanks for playing. Time N-A. Why? Did I really go above the fucking amount of integers this game can track? Okay. You've unlocked speed run. Cool. Level creator and load custom. That's funny. Whack. Pretty, like, short game to make a level editor for. Look at this. Wait, what the fuck? This must have been, like, half the fucking effort put into making the game. Huh. Put him there. Can I test it? Play test. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a good spawn right there. Oh, these are all falling blocks. Ah, oh, this level's too hard. Cool. That's very, very cool that they had a, a level creator in there. Okay. Uh, I've been going for 49 minutes. I guess uh, next one, and this could be the last one for today, is a Bobo's Big Adventure. And this is in a very tiny window on my computer, so you can see how big my mouse is by comparison. And this one is rated, uh, like 18 and up for epilepsy warning and strong violence. So, I take what you will from that, I guess. Uh, and it seems like it is some kind of compilation game, but uh, Abobo himself, I should have looked this up before. Abobo is like a character from Double Dragon, I think. Let me look it up, actually. I, I'm sure chat will have my back here, too. Yeah. He's a recurring enemy in the... Uh, a recurring enemy character in the Double Dragon series. Usually serving either as a mini-boss, the end boss of an area, or in a few occasions even as a minor antagonist. He is normally depicted as a shirtless, tall, and bald strongman. I played the original uh, Double Dragon a little bit in, in the arcade streams, and uh, that's cute. I don't know if I ever got to a Bobo. Maybe I did. The Pox Box. 
in the year 1985, the Nintendo Entertainment System was created. It brought much joy to people. I have not watched this. All around the world. But one NES character never got a chance to share his story. Until now. I hope you didn't just misgender Birdo. Very cute. Already I'm getting, uh, vibes of, like, NES... It was called, like... No, Super Mario Bros. Crossover 3 was the one I played. Cool. There he is. There's a Bobo. Good god. Alright, uh, press A to select. I guess I'm gonna be playing this through my streaming client because, uh, the game itself is in such a tiny little window. Like, look. Oh my god. Yeah. One second here. Okay. Uh, good volume? Actually, that seems a tad loud. Let's turn it down. There we go. Start game. There's also bonus game. Welcome to bonus game. Press A. Okay. Okay, here we are. I look like ass. Oh, he kicked him in the nuts. Was that me, or was that, like, Abobo's little brother? Or is it Ababo? <laughs> oh my god. There's the extremity. <laughs> okay. He's gotta have a nice little cry about it. And now he's pissed! Mission 1. Okay, A-S. Up, down, left, right. So yeah, it's, it's, it's NES Double Dragon, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's like, what's that other one, like River City Ransom? Am I remembering that at all correctly? Uh... So I played the arcade version of Double Dragon that sucks ass. Bubba Hanks. I just killed Bubba Hanks with my own two hands. Okay. Doing great. And that guy right there is from like... Is it from like... Isn't there a game called like Karate Champ or something and he's from that? Okay, Goomba, I need to kick you. <laughs> okay. This is another one that was just... Are you a friend? Yeah, you're chill. Or do I need to kill you? Can I read this? No, I think I need to kill you, sorry. <laughs> he ate his head! Okay. <laughs> oh my god, full rage. Whoa. What the fuck? I got like a super move? Well, all these guys die in one hit anyway, so... Oh. Huh. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, and I slipped on his skateboard like Pepino. Oh, this, this is quite cute. Very fun. But yeah, Arcade Double Dragon sucks ass. Like, it is, it is major cheeks. It's seriously so bad. It's one of those ones like Bionic Commando, where I think the NES version was just, like, objectively better. Oh no. Let's go kick DK Jr.'s head off. Damn. Yeah, you know, we're trying to bank on the idea that there's, uh, that there's not gonna be, like, wicked fucking offensive shit in here, but... You know, if it happens, Flash was such a different time. It's like talking about a cartoon from the 1930s, you know? By the way, I watched Peter Pan the other day. Uh, yeah, fuck it, kill him. What a fucking wild movie. And it's got, like, you know, it's got the famous, like, Native American, like, racist portrayal. Really, what I, uh... See, there's the River City Ransom guy. Oh, and there's Spy vs. Spy? <laughs> what the fuck? I guess they have an NES game, possibly? <laughs> There's a lot of, like, D 
death and like really grim shit. Oh, look at you. What the fuck are you from? Beardy Barrel, are you from anything? I'll throw a barrel at you, fucker. Yeah, get fucked. Very grim fucking movie. Uh, can I pick these up? No. And I know it might be the, the kind of like the, the the point of Peter Pan in a weird way is that like oh god he's throwing it back at me. Is that like oh it's like a from a, like a childish perspective where they don't really understand how things are fucked up. God damn it. But damn, there's just like at one point Captain Hook just like. One of his men is, like, annoying him, and he just, like, shoots him. And he just dies! Okay, I'm, uh, not doing so hot. Ow. I don't recognize these sprites at all. Fucking Goomba. Yeah, I don't recognize any of these, except for the Goomba. You got a machete there, dude? So I'm wondering if this is gonna be the whole game. It's just gonna be one big level like this. I wonder if we're gonna see, uh, bad dudes. Oh, that's, that's that health. Very good. Children's head is health. Oh, when I throw their body! Oh. Yeah, unrelenting childhood innocence and joy in the face of grim reality. And that's cool and all. Peter Pan cut off Captain Hook's hand and fed it to a crocodile so that the crocodile would get a taste for his blood. Like, whoa. Tinkerbell, on multiple occasions, tries to get Wendy killed. Like, I think I like the ch unrelenting childhood innocence in the gr face of grim reality more when it's not the kids being grim. You know? But, like, I was also thinking that that's probably, like, kind of the intent. And, man, watching that scene, uh, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly, that was so weirdly eerie to watch. Because, uh, is there, like, should I be blowing this guy up or something? Shooter Gavin. Uh... The fucking flying scene... ...was very grim to me because, uh... I think famously, a lot of kids died in, like, the, what, the, like, 40s or whatever? Because, uh, they saw Peter Pan, and they were like, Oh, well, if I just think of a wonderful thought, then I can fly out my window. <laughs> Bunch of dead kids because of that scene. It was a very, like, elegiac <laughs> Peter Pan viewing. Okay, this guy's a piece of shit. I always, in beat-em-ups... Oh, that was like a scripted movement. <laughs> in beat-em-ups, I always feel like I can't do any better than I'm currently doing. And surely that's not true. But it feels like to play really well, you have to be, like, so... Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. He's just eating trash. Like, you have to be so overly cautious, you know? Good. Oh my god. This is awesome. The, the flusher is so high up that you need... <laughs> you need to eject yourself super high up with your poops. <laughs> That's cute. Oh my god. Frog? <laughs> no, yeah, beat em ups I don't think are very good. I honestly, like, <laughs> we, Lark and I played some funny ones. Oh, that's so cute. I had no idea it was gonna, like, change genres. Uh. And you know what? It controls pretty well. I can eat some babies, get a power-up, get some health. Okay, that one fish just swam off screen and is just gone. Oh, look at you. Gelectros. That's the name of those jellyfish. Fuck. Are you spiky and uneatable? Inedible, even? Okay. Am I shooting these at the, the jellyfish? What am I doing here? Am I licking the fish? Uh... Oh, maybe, uh... It's little angler fish thing. 
I've never played, uh, I've never played Mega Man. <laughs> or at least I've played very little, so I'm not- I don't know the boss's weak points. Get this asshole. Quite an extensive- oh, here's a, uh, subcon door. Oh, what the fuck? Don't recognize this game. This is gonna- it, this whole game is gonna expose me as a fake gamer. For not knowing what the fuck this is. Hit, mate, or vomit. Eat, hit, mate, vomit. <sighs> you know my curiosity gets the best of me sometimes, right? And you know that sometimes... You have to check the worst thing. I'm playing Russian Roulette with a full clip here. I have to know what happens when, it, when you hit mate. Okay, and if it's like bad, then I'll just like, I don't know, I'll just hide the window. I love you, Abobo. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. <laughs> they had little kids. Three Murbobos. <laughs> Kill me! <laughs> wow. I had a babies. That's it? Okay. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> oh no, is this, uh... Yeah. It's, it's Ninja Turtles Electric Seaweed. I I've seen the AVGN. I know what this is. So, uh, yeah, wow, is there even a strategy there? What the fuck do you mean? How do I do this bit? There must be some use to the fucking shield that I'm just not understanding. He's putting bubbles. Is he shitsing them out? Tongue him. I need to eat a bubble. Okay. This is kind of difficult. And again, I'm playing on a format that I'm not really used to. And you might say, oh, we'll just bind shit to, uh, the controller. It's easier said than done. A lot of Flash games are, are like, specifically constructed to be played with, uh... It's lagging. To be played with keyboard, and if you, like, do it, if you try to do it with, uh... Oh, there's a specific, unique move. Is it gonna hit them? Okay. Very cool. Die? Nice. <laughs> if you try to bind flash game inputs to a uh, controller, it often doesn't really work out. Uh. Just. What do I do about this? I assume I just spit at him. Okay, I've run out of family shield. I also can't, like, fast fall in the water. Yeah, that's rough. But yeah, no, I I, I agree that beat-em-ups are kind of a bad genre. <laughs> I think they're, they're, uh, wow. They're a relic, what? That shark had, like, a bomb strapped to it? Is this laser dolphin? I know. Oh, Tetris! Anybody remember, uh... 
Laser Dolphin, the game. That's one that I gotta play on, like, a whack game stream or something. It was, like, a surprisingly good game. It's, like, better than Echo the Dolphin. Dolphin Simulator, basically. Damn it. I got Tetris cock blocked. Cool. Yeah, sharks with laser beams. It, there wasn't an Austin Powers game though, was there? That in that animation didn't seem like NES shit. That was that just a joke? Okay, now we're in, like, River City, Rambo, or whatever. No, this is Urban Champion. This is... Or is that... That's the guy's name? Or is it the... I think... Uh, I don't know. I don't know anything about this one. I've, like, seen it. You know? It's, it's like, slightly iconic. Whoa. Discount Brothel. Hell yeah, brother. Um, seems pretty simple so far. Am I winning? Knock him into the manhole. This one's very simple and easy so far. Finish him. <laughs> wow. I don't know really what's happening. She's throwing confetti? <laughs> wow. Flawless. Is that fucking hobo STD? Fatality. Uh. Damn. Brutal. Yeah, it's got that classic flash, uh, like, hyper-violence. Cool. This is so whack. This is the good side of OMG So Retro. Right here. Shocking that you could make this in Flash, too. There are some Flash games where I play them and they just don't even feel like a Flash game. Beam Sword is functional, too. Like, Jesus Christ. Zelda 1 we know. I played that shit on stream. I beat that on an original NES. Oh, I gained health from that? Choco Kiss, by the way. Like a Hershey's Kiss. Full rage. Oh my god. The the map. The map. <laughs> the map is a penis. I wonder how long this is gonna be. <laughs> okay, that's a secret. Oh. There's a Metroid enemy. I believe that is a gamer. I don't remember what the other one is called. Ladder. Okay. Zoomer. Whoa. So, th by the way, these statues, these classic Zelda statues, these are... A fish with buck teeth going, right? Or am I seeing them? Am I reading that sprite completely wrong? Like, could you interpret anything else from that? Or it's just a dorky fish yelling. What a strange, what a strange thing to be the image 
plaster, like the, the, the like original artwork splattered all around all the uh, dungeons. Hey, you're not from this game. I mean, because sometimes uh, sprites can be open to interpretation, like uh, Aghanim from uh, Link to the Past. For instance, there's there's much debate over what the fuck he actually looks like, what his sprite is supposed to be. Okay. Is this thing killable? No. Oh! Uh, dig dug- no! Oh no! You're fat! Don't let the bad guys pop you. Oh my god. That's funny. What is this bomb? Is that like a Mario 2 bomb? No. I don't even know what that bomb is. Okay, I, I, the gas has left my body. Dig Dug, fuck you. The ghosts? Uh, okay, they just have a lot of health. Weren't they like unkillable unless you had a certain weapon or am I crazy? Okay, can I... Push this. There we go. Ha ba ba bo bo ba ba be. Oh yikes. Stalfos. 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 Actually, is this a Stalfos or is it just a skeleton? I can't believe it's got a functional beam sword. Okay, now we gotta go around the right testicle. Or the left, depending on from what view we're uh, looking at this cock. Zelda 1, quite the unique game. Even though there's, uh... You know, it, a lot of games that seem to be in a similar format. But really, Zelda 1... That there's uh, not a lot like it. I mean, uh, famously, the closest comparison that you can draw is, like, fucking Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, weirdly enough. That was their, like, design philosophy going in. So that they wanted... Ah, uh, it's a tech tight. Yeah, these guys you can only attack while they're resting, I believe. And these, by the way, are what ended up uh, becoming the Demon Juggalo Pineapples in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Those giant, terrifying things that, like, chase you around. Okay, of course the boss is at the tip. Ow. Well, that sucked. At least I can pick up health in this area. Oh. The old man hates beef. <laughs> of course. Uh... So yeah, depending on how long this one is, it might be the last one today. Uh, the other one that I was gonna play is Tiny Heist by Terry Kavanaugh, but we might just get to that another day. His face. Scary enemies. Unpredictable. <laughs> Difficult to predict, at least. Okay. Oh. Buh, 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 buh. Did I take damage from that? I'm honestly not sure. Rage, you say? Okay, grab the key. It's not like one for one. I don't think that's the sound that plays when you pick up a key, for instance. Could be wrong. I'm gonna try going full rage in that room full of all the little statues that shoot at you, and maybe I will, uh, you know, I'll, they'll, it'll probably do nothing. 
but I want to try. Oh yeah, lots of classic uh, Binding of Isaac enemies were modeled after classic Zelda enemies. <laughs> For sure, excuse me. Rot in hell a bobo. Let's try it. Come on. Damn. Seems hard to get through this room without taking damage. So I was really hoping that would work. Ooh. Use this thing. This enemy is very weak to bombs. Manhandler. <laughs> In the original, where you actually have access to bombs, of course. Am I hearing, like, slightly muffled, like, Metroid Godzilla noises? Okay, old man hates beef. I got beef, bitch. Just seen that coming. Oh my god, I'm attacking with the beef now. The beef is my sword. <laughs> Fuck. That's funny. I smell like beef. Okay, what's up here? We've reached the bell end, folks. We have reached, I repeat, we have reached the bell end. I'm really blowing cheeks at this. <laughs> yeah, the cock dungeon is, uh, well mapped out. I'm kind of assuming this will probably have five stages based on the fact that it started me with five lives. Could be totally wrong, though. Ow. Aquamentus. Hold on, let's go down. It might refill that guy's health, but I don't really care. Because I'm assuming the old beef man is down here. I guess you could say I'm really beating my meat! Hilarious. Okay... Oh, this is the shape of, uh... Ganondorf's fight room. That last dungeon in Zelda 1 is, uh, hell. Okay, do I perhaps need to kill all the enemies here before I can proceed? Oh, what's the shtick? Is, is there nothing? I'm gonna check all the blocks in case there's something in them, I don't know. Because why would this room be here if it did nothing? Every other room has served a purpose. Oh shit, you guys. These are Zelda 2 enemy. Ah uh, yes, the Lion's Key. Let's just get out of here. Don't suppose the key does anything in here? Nope. Pretty sure those things were supposed to like not target onto me since I was through a wall, but whatever. Okay, this guy's health did in fact get refilled. Ow. Please tell me I don't have to restart the whole fucking thing. Oh. Do I keep my progress? Okay. Okay, thank god. I almost had a fucking heart attack there. I don't have to redo. I just have to walk a little bit, and then we can go beat this thing's ass. Uh, am I going the right way? No. Because that's the way to the lava key door. I think... Oh, what the fuck? supposed to go... it's like at the... 
At the lava room, I think I'm supposed to go up and then right. Left ventricle. That's the one. Okay, well, just, I think pure fucking luck, 100% luck, did not take damage there. I, uh, this is tedious, but whatever. At least it doesn't delete all my progress. Even Zelda 1 wouldn't do that, it would ask you to save. I think. Oh god, just destroy him. Ow. Okay. Ah oh, shit, the old man is the real boss. He hates beef, though. Shit. Uh. So am I looking to, like, fill my health and hit him with the beam or something? Oh, maybe, uh... Nope. Uh. I am a snail. What is this fucking sprite from? Nice Toho 1 attack. I thought we were gonna have a little dead man's volley. Maybe I just need to survive? Because when I hit him, he had like a force field around him. Come on, dead man's volley. Nope. Hit the corners? Oh, oh I would fucking never have thought to do that. Like, what even are those? Okay, am I... Oh, shit. Those are not a sprite from Zelda 1, that's for sure. Yeah, Shy Guy's, uh... Having a nice time. Okay, fuck you. Shouldn't get too impatient here. Okay, you're gonna summon a dude. Oh, bullshit. Ow. Those are some of the most fearsome enemies. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. That thing just like perfectly dodged me like 50 times. I'm fucked. Ow. That sucked so much, the way that thing was jumping around. Uh, okay. Oh, it put me right here, though. Okay. Well, now that I- I mean, this should be a fucking cakewalk now. Just I didn't even know what to do. What are these? Orb pillar? You know, orb pillar. Everybody knows orb pillar. When does that thing fucking despawn? He fucking despises beef. Oh. Uh. Old man question mark. <laughs> Jesus, this is so elaborate. Okay, there's some health. Very cute. And none of this, uh... Oh my god, he took a stamina potion. Oh! Oh! What the fuck? I mean... Jesus Christ. This would better be the fucking last boss. It's so long. Okay. I'm so, like, scared of contact damage here. 
the the thing that I find really impressive about this is that it doesn't feel fake as shit. Like so much like, oh the old man in Zelda beats you up. Like so many people would have done this so poorly, but I feel like the creator of this genuinely had a really good grasp of how to animate something like this and make it actually work. Full rage. How much damage is it gonna do? Like, none? D did it do anything? The fuck? That's some horse shit. Am I mental or did the super attack do nothing? Jesus, and he's invincible for so much of the time, because whenever he's flashing to charge up a move. Jesus. Don't get me wrong, this fight's kind of annoying, but it's certainly cool. It's certainly not badly done. It's just very tanky. It did do some damage. Fuck you, old man. <laughs> oh my god. Meat spin! Wow. Damn. Oh, look at my inventory. <laughs> I fucking did it. Oh my god, I got, gotta get all the rest of the pieces. Pie is tasty! Wow. You idiot, that was a sacred piece of the Triforce, not a Pi Force. You're so stupid, a Bobo. Uh. Oh my god. Pulped. Help. Okay. What now? I don't recognize that sound. Is this it? Oh, I did it. This is so beautiful. <laughs> uh, I don't like his face. Oh shit. Nice uh, NES laugh sound. I don't recognize this guy. Uh, I feel like I recognize that sprite vaguely. I know where your son is, Abobo. Mwahaha. Oh, scuba tank? Uh... We're gonna have, like, an air level? He is from Pro Wrestling, the same game as a winner is you. Okay. Oh, are we gonna do balloon fight? Yeah, okay. Oh, and I got some more lives, too. I can't move or do anything. I'm hitting A and S. Okay. Man, and, like, they got, like, the feel, the unique feel of uh, balloon fight, too. How'd they do this in Flash? <laughs> I've never played Balloon Fight, by the way, so if there's something I'm supposed to be, like, doing here... I'm supposed to hit those, maybe? I don't know. Like, I've played Balloon Fight in WarioWare. That's how much I've played it. Okay. Just avoid shit. People are saying they remember this part being extremely frustrating and bad. Cool. I will simply survive. Hey, whoa! Jesus! Can I kill you? Cool. It's like Joust, kinda. Where you're trying to hit a certain part of their sprite with a certain part of your sprite. Can I have that? Cool.
the way that rocket is moving is very un NES like. Uh, uh, this is hard. Balloon, can I have you? Cool. I can milk you. Ow. Oh god. Uh. Should I kill him? It's extremely hard to, like, cancel your momentum in this game. Shit. Go get it, dude! I'm holding right! Ow. What the fuck just happened? Can I lure him? Ugh. Excite bike? Jesus fucking Christ. Mm. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get to that balloon in time. Mm. Ow. Isn't there like a fish in the water that like comes out too? Or is it a... Uh, am I thinking of Ice Climber? Oh, fuck you! Oh my god. Can I kill Lakitu? Oh my god, I can. I don't know. Okay. A little excess meter there. I mean, if it sends me back to, like, the beginning of the game, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> but... It is cool. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Oh god. What are you... I don't know your words, dude. Oh, fuck off! I got, like, ricocheted into it. What do these do? I got, like, slammed into it. I had no control over that. Okay, I, I am on my zero life. Because that's a th weird fucking thing that old games did. For some reason. Can I hurt you? I'm like breakdancing with lasers. Death Blossom. Gonna be a huge fucking pain in my dick. Okay, I recognize you. Oh god, you're not gonna you're not gonna keep moving forward, are you? Cool. Okay, will this make me redo the level? Uh, uh lame. I wanted it to restart the game so I didn't have to keep playing. <laughs> But at this point, we must. We simply must. Well, now I know I can, like, kill Lakitu and shit. It's just, uh, slow, <laughs> is all. Why couldn't all the levels be like that one level that was like, punch the guy five times and you win? Ow. And especially on an auto-scroller having enemies just spawn like that. Dick move. Is it sunken cost fallacy when it's a genuinely, like, interesting game, though? And you just want to see the rest of it? we have more reasons to keep playing than just I've come this far. Oh god. 
these fucking enemies are so- they have so much more maneuverability than I do. Honestly. Or at least just from the looks of it. Like, in order to move to the right, I need to hold right for like, half a fucking hour. Whereas those guys just seem to get to go directions for free. Fuck you. Use the Buckinghams with kind of a drag. I'm assuming that's a hilarious reference if you get what they're talking about. Fuck. I was thinking maybe I should just leave this balloon on screen. Really now? That's an instant kill, is it? Huh. Instant kill. Both your balloons, gone. You know, it's like... Actually, I I think I like slightly understood. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, you can't you can't just hold a direction. You literally don't move if you just hold a direction. You have to hold a direction and flap. Okay, those are Gradius guys, I think. Or no, I think those were guys were from Zevius actually. Am I wrong? Fuck me. Ugh. Yeah, gotta hand it to him. The, the enemy AI is pretty fucking dastardly. Or should I say bastardly? What does that mean? There was a little jingle, and then nothing happened. Yeah, auto-scroller hell is a real place. I'm there now. God damn it. Like, what do I do in this situation? Ugh. I can't, like, move properly. Full heals me too, I think. Or no, it gave me back both my balloons, because my health bar is just... <laughs> I, I basically have two hits. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna leave that balloon there for now. As a little test, a little experiment. Okay, I assume I can jump on your head? Cool. You became an egg. Okay, and now I'm not gonna get the benefit out of that balloon, but whatever. I prefer having the insurance. Oh my god, and no fucking iframes. Zero. None. You blink for a second, but that's like... Oh my god! What is this fucking enemy AI? Please, dude. Brutal. Nice try, Abobo. But my jetpack will never run out of fuel. Sput, sput, ah. Am I gonna play jetpack now? I don't immediately recognize this. Still don't recognize this. I mean, I see Jason, I see the Noid, I see Ninja Gaiden, I see a gremlin. There's a ton here. Skullomania. <laughs> uh. Yeah, classic. Make his head explode. Oh. 
Main event, upright versus grappling. Oh god. Okay. Is this wrestling champ or whatever? Press 1 during balloon fight to skip to the boss. <laughs> that would have been cool to know! That's so funny that they do that. They give you a cheat code to get through the fucking... That's funny. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Uh, none of that was under my control. Go on the ropes, dude. Uh... He puked on me. Uh, I can't do anything. I'm mashing buttons. Uh, so it, it said like S and A plus direction is like special things, but it doesn't. It literally doesn't do anything. Like, I hope it shows me that screen again, because I must be missing something. Because nothing I'm doing does anything. Like, direction... Oh, there we go. Why did that only work then? It's because I was in the corner, I see. That does nothing, though. That doesn't have a hitbox. Is it like I have to get him down on the ground and then do that? This, this is awful. I don't even need to hit- I, I'm literally just hitting directions to get on that. Okay, so he'll just stand there forever and lay me out. Cool, got it. Come on. T do something, dude. <laughs> I mean, I tried. Near the ropes, direction A and S. It's, it doesn't do anything. Uh, yep. I sure am. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, I'll get him in a combo, and then I'm getting pummeled, and I don't know, I don't know the rules at all. He's got the folding chair. There's nothing I can do about this. I can't go get one? Okay. And then you just get, like, stun-locked so hard, too. Jesus fucking Christ. Why did it become such a cock cramp? Like, I mean, this is how safe I have to play. I can't do anything <laughs> Like, every once in a while, something just happens, and I have no idea why. This is awful. I mean, I just literally don't understand what's happening. It's like... The basis of a video game is knowing what to actually do. And like, I literally can't get a chair. I literally cannot. It is impossible for me to do. What the fuck was that? Uh, like, why? It, okay, literally, I knock him down to the ground, a bobo bends down, and then he grabs me from on the ground. <laughs> Can I have this, please? I mean, I'm assuming that, uh, it will reset his health bar if I die, which, in, in which case, I mean, no way, I, I'm 100% certain I don't understand how to play this part, so I'm just not gonna do that. Oh, no, I can just grind it out? Okay. Like, what the fuck was that? <sighs> My kick just went directly- do my moves do things? Do my moves do things in this game? I guess is really what I'm trying to figure out here. I also like that we, like, left the arena and he won't come back. Like... 
Oh, there he fucking comes. Like, I've been in the arena before for, like, extended periods of time. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Am I winning? I'm literally just mashing the S button here, by the way. There when I like got him in like a throw loop. But then he just gets me in a throw loop from being on the ground. <laughs> I like I can't move. It, it just seems like complete RNG. Like, I, I don't see what the strategy is here. It just seems like complete luck on if, when he gets up, if I grab him or if he grabs me. Look how little damage all my moves do, too. That's so obnoxious. Fuck you, buddy. Yeah. Full rage. Oh my god, I've got the belt. Are you friends? Hulk Hogan. The one that I know. Actually, that might not even be Hulk Hogan. That might be Macho Man Randy Savage. For all I fucking know. Awesome. This is just an extended beat-up sequence, by the way. This is just- oh, he put him to sleep. Oh my god. It was- it's at the- who is- what is that guy? It, it, there's a guy who puts people to sleep, right? Maybe I'm thinking of the Sandman. We got it. He gave him CPR. Nice. Oh, the classic. Damn. Okay. I'll be keeping this for later. Okay, did I win the fucking game? Please let this be over. It's really cool and really neat. Uh, it's just that they made the enemies so tanky in the last bit, and that balloon fight part was just so ass. The ultimate. This is just like Pizza Tower. The ultimate pile driver. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah? The fuck was that? Oh god, Mega Man? Megan Man? No, am I doing Megan Man? Oh god, I'm doing Megan Man, okay. Mega Bobo. How do you make this in Flash? Uh, like, how? Nice piranha plant. Uh, is that a fucking DuckTales enemy? Alright, ah, uh, this is, uh, Quick Man. With the lasers. Shit, there was an extra Abobo there. Dino Roller. The fuck is that from? Oh, hey, Bubble Bobble. Bub. From Monster Party? Pretty sure that's from Monster Party. Okay, clearly Mega Man. Oh, and uh some Dr. Mario viruses here too. I have a charge shot? No. That wasn't really a thing until what, Mega Man X?
What the fuck? I, literally how? I, I don't understand how I'm supposed to do that. Oh god. It's too much. Okay. Am I winning? That's a Xevious enemy right there. The little, like, nondescript gray octagon or whatever the fuck. Oh god. It's, it's like spawning in, like, lightsabers and, like, zappers and shit. Yeah, this guy's from Dig Dug. I don't think- was it Rolly and Dig Dug? Or was it just a little dino guy? Okay. Fuck. Damn, when you get hit, you lose half of your fucking juice. You. I'll use my rage on you. There's some, like, slightly shoddy layering, but in other words, it's uh, NES accurate. Where it has, like, that little that little layer, or that little column on the uh, left side of the screen that was still visible through the little cutscene graphics. Can't really explain it any better than that. Apparently Mega Man 4. People are saying that four is the one that introduced a charge shot. Ow. Okay. This is an infamous uh, segment from two, I think, right? Quick man. Have to avoid the lasers. Ooh. Oh. Insta kill, fuck you. Oh god. I've played a tiny bit of some of the old classic Mega Man games, I just never played a lot of them. So not, uh, not the most fun platformers, in my opinion. I always feel like the weapon feels, like, piss-weak, and, uh... And Mega Man controls, like, lead. Oh, I can just shoot right through the wall there, that's how you deal with this asshole. Punkin. Punkin Chunkin. Okay. This is a good way to use this part- this ability, I think. It won't kill the penguin, I don't think, but... No. Wasn't on screen. I remember, I think in Mega Man 1, I got as far as the, uh, Yellow Devil, and then promptly gave the fuck up, because... I mean, anybody who's played that game knows that fight is horse shit. Jesus fuck, man. I, I feel like I did that, like, literally as fast as I could, too. It was just like I held into the wall and it, like, slowed me down. Like, I was actually holding left the entire time I was on screen. See, and the shit like this right here is why I don't really like Mega Man, classic Mega Man that much. Is those little, like, shitty situations. Where it's like, ooh, there's a tiny little, like, piss ant of a hitbox. And I need to jump and shoot at the perfect moment, like, nine times in order to kill it. by the way, is the name of that enemy. I don't know if that's what it's called in Xevious. Xevious is one of the most fucking dull games I have ever played in my life. It's the most dry, boring, lame, vertically scrolling shooters I've ever seen. Okay, let's try going this way. I think it was literally just the fact that I went to the right there. Okay, let's not even bother with that. That's complete bait. 
Oh, hey, it's you. Sophia. Oh, God, you're shooting at me, I see. I can't see your bullets. This is from uh, Master Blaster, right? We got to play as Master Blaster in, uh... Spirana. We got to play as Master Blaster in Super Mario Crossover 3 or whatever. Yeah, there's just a high density of fuck you enemies in the old Mega Man games. And the platforming is often so tight, and like I said... Mega Man himself just controls like a fucking bucket of lead. Yeah, Sophia was like busted in Mario Crossover. Oh shit, Darkabobo. Robobobo. Makes sense. He's throwing Dr. Wily at me. Metal Blade. I'm at full rage. <laughs> Killed. Dead. Very satisfying. Okay, we got another phase, maybe? Oh god. Speak of the Yellow Devil and he shall appear. It's not actually the Yellow Devil. Ah! <laughs> Nice Lancer splat. Oh my god. Fuck you. Uh... Okay. Uh... That, uh, that was a devastating move in terms of the amount of damage it did to me. I love that his opening attack is just throw Dr. Wily at you. He hits the wall in a bloody splatter. Yeah, just shoot that the wrong way, fucker. Ow. God damn it. I was gonna try to save it for the next phase. We still got some charged up though. Can't move during any of this. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. At which he like shoot charges up that move like changes. Blah. So, does anybody have an answer for the for the, the the question of why this game is like legitimately like two hours long? In Flash, People are asking why I didn't get a zero life that time, because the zero life doesn't make any fucking sense. It's the life you're on. I don't know, whenever I, he I hear people say that shit, it, it, you know that image that's like, humans were not meant to keep track of numbers? I can't explain it, but it gives me the same feeling as that image. Probably should have just bucked up and used the fucking thing here. No real world use found for the zeroth life. Like, I get what people. I 100% I understand what people are saying when they're like, oh, it's the life that you're on. That's the life that you're on. But, like, why? 
Why was it like that? <laughs> I, I, I feel like if you can't... If you don't understand why that, like, just feels weird and wrong, I think I can't explain it to you. Yeah, and if every single, uh, <laughs> life meter, like, counter of how many lives you had, said extra lives, then it would make a lot more sense. But you know what they say? Lives. They say the word lives. They don't- they, most of them don't say extra lives. Jason! And, you know, this is classic. I don't think this is a big deal in the slightest. It's just that whenever I bring it up, a bunch of people try to, like, argue with me about it. I don't really care. It just feels slightly weird every time a game does that. And it- most games don't do that anymore. It's just old games. The enemy respawned there. It sounded like you did. You'd be surprised, uh, how when you just sort of say, like, an offhand opinion, when a bunch of people start arguing with you about it, you'd be surprised how defensive a person can sound when they don't really care much one way or the other. <laughs> yeah, and lives are bad anyway. Simple as. Oh? You got a second Wily. That felt like a, a glitch. Uh, oh, are you gonna spawn directly on top of me while I can't move? Cool. Cool. Okay, Lancer Splat. I think it actually is, like, variable how long that move takes to charge up. Which is fucking bonkers. Mm. Full Rage, let's go for it. It's also especially, uh, with the lives thing, oh god. It's like, uh... Oh, sweet Jesus. I also wouldn't mind if, if it was just, like, consistent, you know? But since a ton of games, like, it, it is variable between them, it's always just like, oh god, I need to, like, remember specifically how it works for this individual game a lot of times. Okay, is that it for the level, please? Uh... Mm. Status. A bow boy currently being transported through jungle. Oh my god, am I gonna do Contra now? Johnny number five is alive, need input. I don't get the reference. Hmm. Whoa. Huh. So is this Metal Gear? No? There's some cool epilepsy. Yeah, it's Contra. Ba -da -ba -da. I'm assuming I will, uh... Oh god, ghosts and goblins. Goblins. And or ghosts. Shit. Damn it. Yeah. I was gonna say, I assume I die in one hit. And I only have- Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. 
What the fuck? I just became two player? Oh no, dude. Oh no, I might have actually just beefed it. What the fuck are these controls? Oh no, how do I turn it off? Please. I, they started me off- I need to just die, I guess? I don't know. I think I might have actually fucked up the game and I will happily take this as an opportunity to just stop playing. Because I- it's like impossible to control now. Uh... They started me off with three lives. Like assholes. Oh my god. It's Wasid and C and V, so I have to play like... I have to play like Imini Mimini all the time. World's smallest keyboard. Yeah, I actually can't progress, I think. I don't know how to turn it off. It's somewhere in the... In the process of hitting up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, I start, it just fucked it up. So, I'm gonna call it here, and we're just gonna fucking watch a video of the ending. But, by how it's been going, I wouldn't be shocked if there was 100 more levels after this. <laughs> like, holy fucking shit. Like, wow. I, like, cannot believe how long that was. Can we, uh, can we just get, like, a long play? Yeah, there's, like, I think there's, like, a bunch more. Yeah, Jesus Christ. You gotta appreciate it as a, uh, I know you guys can't see. You gotta appreciate it as, like, a, a work. But yeah, it's it's certainly a, a slog. I wanted it to end ages ago. I hear Isabel. I just want to see, like, okay, you fight Krang, Krang B. Do more Contra. Fight Kirby. Is there a punch-out segment? God damn it. Sadly, there's a punch-out segment. <laughs> I, like, can't... It's, like, unbelievable how much work probably went into this. And I can't stress enough. Flash! <laughs> Flash! Flash is not a good engine to create a video game in. Okay. He went into Smash Brothers. Well, Battletoads. It is truly mental that this game exists. I mean, I'm sad that there's a punch-out segment and I'm not gonna get to play it, because I probably would have done okay at that part. That's a game I actually know and have played a bit. Uh, Jerma played Punch Super Punch Out on stream the other day. That's awesome. He did this classic, his classic Jerma bit, where he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna beat the whole game without getting knocked down, or I'm gonna try to beat the whole game without getting knocked down." And then over the course of playing the game. He, he was like, oh, this is like one of my favorite games of all time, like maybe top 10 games. I played this so much as a kid. So much of it is just burned into my brain. And then he realized while playing it that he had never even completed the game. He'd never even got to the like third to last. He'd never even got to Hoi Quarlo before. Classic Germa bit. Oh. Okay, weird though. It... The camera is like still from Little Mac's perspective. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, whack. You get to play as a punch out boss. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's that fucking timer. Accurate timer going way too fast. Oh, Little Mac. He, oh, he hit the mushroom. He got the missile tank. Got a missile tank?
Big Mac. Barely even, like, see your own character. It's insane! And, like, it must have taken an astronomical amount of effort to mimic the game feel of all these old games, too. Oh, Isabel just came in and I said hi to her and then I learned that she's on the phone with someone. I'm sorry, babe. I'm- I'm watching the end of Abobo's Big Adventure because the game, like, bugged out. A champ! And I didn't want to replay the whole thing. Achievements- I'm about to end the stream. Oh shit, the ball charge. You get to do the ball charge. Oh, you got the pair with glove. That's awesome. Jesus fucking Christ. Whoa. Join the Nintendo Fun Club today, Mac. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. And is there a whole Ghosts and Goblins segment? No, it's just the head's gonna fly through a bunch of different video games, I bet. God, what game is that? Aw, oh, so sad. Jesus fucking Christ, is that Tecmo Bowl? The Tecmo Bowl. Was that motherfucking Tecmo Bowl? Well, this is definitely- oh my god, is this Castlevania 2? <laughs> uh, uh, Rampage? Is it just called Rampage? We- Lark and I played the, uh, a later version of that Rampage World Tour, I think. I think this is Zelda? Jesus Christ, it's seriously like the entire fucking NES library. Where's my Fester's Quest bit? Jesus fuck. He punched him out of his restraints. Oh. I feel exhausted and I didn't even just do that last level. Who knows how hard that would have been. Well, this game did end up being wicked fucking long. Like, genuinely, like, top five longest Flash games I've played. Oh, hey. Bunch of guys there. Like, I feel like the only one that I can think of off the top of my head that was longer than this, maybe Super Mario 63 and, uh... Run 3. Holy fuck. Yeah, and the sprite work is genuinely great. There's Rob. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god. Wait, now I feel bad. This is awful. No. No, he curb stumped Scrooge McDuck. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? What a roller coaster. I can't believe he tore off Captain N's arms. It got- the ultraviolence got a little upsetting, I'm gonna say. Uh, more than a little. Huh. How long is this gonna go on for- what? Zod? From Superman? <laughs> okay, can we be done? Oh my god, there's so much. There's so fucking much Galactus. Flaming Carrot. Isn't that like a really obscure, like, comics character? Gumby? Oh my god, end! Inspe- stop! End! End the game. Are these like the devs? 
Nick Pasto. Look at that grin, you know he programmed all the gore. Tom Fulp. That's funny. We would like to thank all our fans, friends, and families for showing their support and patience over the years during the production of this huge labor of love. It meant the world and kept us going. Goonies never say die. Same the end text, I think. Oh, get a bow boy bonus game. God, there's a whole ass bonus game too. <laughs> Well, Jesus fucking Christ, we did it, folks. I, I feel an amount of closure. I'm almost glad that I fucked it up and, and turned it into two-player Contra that was unreversible. Uh, wow, well, that was definitely an insane game. I don't uh, regret playing that because, holy shit, that is, like, astounding. <laughs> But it definitely wasn't fun for, like, half of it. But, hey, that's because it's a pretty accurate, pretty shockingly accurate NES tribute game. Uh, a wild ride from start to finish. Truly. Uh, yes, you'll get Tiny Heist next time. No way I'm playing that today. I gotta go. Uh, so we only played three games there, but that's fine. We've got like four or five left on the list after that, and then I will be uh, probably calling it, again, leaving the Flash game series as open-ended and, you know, calling it. So let's go raid somebody. Oh, uh, Mike's playing F-099. That's cool. Yeah, let's just go do that. We have our option. The easy options are Mike doing F-0 or Vinny doing Armored Core. Uh, Jabrani. Okay, well, that definitely went on much longer than I intended it to, but that's the gamble that we take uh, playing these games. I, I knew some of these. I thought maybe some of these were going to be long. The rest of the ones I played today were great, too. That, that was a, definitely a strong showing from the Flash uh, world. All very cool. So, hope you guys got a kick out of that, and I will see you next time, whenever that may be.